Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new, welcome and if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me back here. So today's video is all about outfits that are going to help you stay cool when it's absolutely miserably hot outside. Um, if some of you don't know, I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas, so it's absolutely miserable right now. So hot. Um, we were in the heat index the other day at like 110, so it is like, you know miserable let me tell you so let's close as possible but you know if we could just stay in our swimsuit all day that would be nice and lovely but it's not feasible for everyone so I'm gonna give you guys um, six outfits that I will typically have probably worn already or my go-to and how to stay cool at the same time and look cute and chic okay so if you guys want to see the outfits then just keep watching also before we get started I'm going to talk about some face masks real quickly. Uh, so some of you probably don't know, but I went to, I have a degree in fashion design, so your girl knows how to sew. Um, so my mom and I have been making a face mask um, for the last couple of months, but I wanted to share um, with you guys, if y'all are interested in buying any face masks, um, we are selling them. I will leave them on uh, my Instagram handle below, and you can find a highlight on my page. It's a, sto a story highlight, and you can find all the information, or you can DM me, and I will give you all of the information on these face masks. Um, they are 100% cotton, so they are going to be washable. They are going to be reusable, so you can grab a couple. Um, so if you are still going to work or you have to get out, and get essentials or if you're going to a restaurant so if you're going places and you need um, a cover up these are a great option and I know that's the last thing we want to put on our face during um, the summertime but like I said these are cotton so they're going to be a little bit more breathable of course they're not FDA you know certified they're not in 95 masks or anything or medical grade but they are just going to help keep you covered up and feel safe if you want and still breathable at the same time so if you guys want to check these out, like I said, I'll leave the information below. And also, real quick, they are, these are less than a cup of coffee, you guys, or a latte, I should say. Um, so if you want to grab a couple, and you can use them throughout the week, like I said, and wash them. But, um, so they're not going to break the bank, at least in my opinion, and there's some really beautiful patterns if... Um, you're looking for you know certain types or if you're looking for solids as well we have them so just wanted to let you guys know um, that if you are looking for some face mask so I have a couple of tips when it comes to dressing when it is super hot outside and you just can't stand it with clothes just clinging on to you and you just want something nice and airy first tip is fabric look at your material Make sure it's a natural fiber if possible. I know it's hard, you know, you might already have polyester and, you know, acetate or nylon, but, you know, try to stick to your cotton. Look at your labels, see what it's made out of. Cotton is going to be the best thing for you to put on and just, because it's breathable, it's air, you know, the, the air is going to be able to flow through the fabric and just keep you nice and cool when it is absolutely miserably hot outside, you guys. So that is key, is your fabric. So I chose a, which most of all of these will be cotton. There are a few exceptions okay but one of them is so one of the first outfits I did choose was this cotton dress it has all the key components right here you have cotton you have a dress it's light color which is going to help reflect the Sun when you if you are outside and it's nice and breathable the silhouette is so perfect it's not going to be hugging onto your skin um, and it has it's just super nice light and airy it has pockets and it's flowy and it's girly and you can wear it with you know some sandals I put them on with some Tevas I think that's how you say them but I feel like I heard someone say them another way so if I'm saying that wrong I'm sorry um, so I wore it with that threw my hair in a messy bun and boom you're done that's it like you don't need to do anything else with this outfit is just throw it on I've worn it several times and just throwing my hair in a bun and throwing on some sandals and that is it and I love it and it keeps me nice and cool throughout the entire day second your hair I mean 
my hair is somewhat short in the medium length range right now, but I'm so glad it's now at a length that I can throw my hair in a bun. I live for a bun in the summertime, so I've been trying to grow it out from me cutting my hair back in December because um, it would not go in a bun. But even if you have short hair, it's probably just as good. You can still throw it in a low bun, whatever it is, but getting your hair off of your neck is going to be so nice and lovely. It's not going to be sticking to you when you're sweating. So either throw it up in a bun, throw it down in a low bun, throw a hat on, whatever it might be. And that's what I did with this outfit. Actually, with all of the outfits, I threw my hair in a bun or a um, low ponytail, which this is the one I did. A low ponytail I threw on this bodysuit. It This is actually not cotton, um, but what I love about it the fabric, for some reason, is nice and cooling. It is a rayon, um, and it has spandex in it, but it just kept me nice and cool. And I guess since it was sleeveless, um, it didn't feel like, I felt like I was being smothered. And then I paired it with some paper bag shorts, which were cotton, and they were nice and baggy and breathable as well. And I, like I said, I threw my hair in a low bun, and then I just added a simple um, headband um, to go... I think I threw, yeah, this headband on, you know, to go with the natural colors, if you would say, and that was it, just, you know, nice and easy, I threw on some heels, but you can change the heels to flats, I just wanted to put on heels with it, not that I'm, you know, really going out anywhere much these days. <laughs> Alright, so the next outfit was really surrounded by my next tip, which is minimal jewelry. So the top is already just so incredibly just loud, so I figured having minimal jewelry would be so perfect for this outfit. So it is this one shoulder bodysuit with this very voluminous side sleeve. It is so just I don't know. I love it. It is just very out there and speaks to me. So I paired this with this skirt right here. It is a cotton. I knew it. It is a cotton skirt and it's a very voluminous skirt and I love it. So it'll keep you nice and airy and let the wind flow through. So if you were going you know, out to dinner, um, which, you know, hopefully we will be able to do a lot of that soon. This would be a great outfit to wear in the summertime because it is so chic and just so feminine. I just, and it is a darker color, which is black, um, but this is something you could definitely wear at nighttime when um, the sun starts to go down. This would be a perfect date night outfit. And like I said, I kept the jewelry to a minimum. And so when it comes to the summertime, like I said, with the hair, I don't like it clinging to me. So with jewelry, I like to keep it very minimal, especially with like anything around my wrist. I don't like anything around my wrist because then I just feel suffocated. Um, even your, you know, rings, you may want to keep them to a minimal because then I feel like I just start to swell as I get hot. Um, and then you may just want to keep your put on some earrings, um, throw in some sunnies, and maybe a couple of layered necklaces, and I feel like that is just perfect for the summertime. You know, less is more, I feel like, right now with your jewelry when it is so hot and it's so humid, um, like I said, especially here in Texas. But this outfit was so perfect because the top already had this just be really beautiful um, detail, so I thought that this would be the perfect time just to wear a very um, minimal jewelry to your outfit. So that is my other tip. Fourth tip is to wear lighter colors if possible. Yes, you're going to have your blacks and it's just simple and easy and you can wear those, but definitely stick to your lighter colors. So your whites, especially your beautiful summer whites will look so pretty with your bronzy skin probably right now because we have lots of time to be spending outside. And then you can wear your pinks, your light pinks, your light blues, and just really very even natural colors. So maybe even your lighter browns, your tans would look so pretty right now in the summer and just keep it really natural. So that is, brings me to the next outfit that I did choose. It is this wrap cotton linen skirt, and I paired it with a just simple cotton t-shirt. It was a graphic tee, just tucked it in, had my hair in a low bun, threw on a hat, so the hat's going to help shield some sun as well, threw on some flats, and boom, you are done. Nothing else needed, just super simple and easy, and it's nice and cooling as well. Next tip is 
your silhouettes when you like like I mentioned before in the first um, outfit, which was the dress, the silhouettes are really going to help you um, stay cool as well. You don't want anything really super hugging or bodycon. Yes, I think wearing a bodysuit is going to be okay, especially if it's sleeveless, especially if it's kind of even, you know, have a cooling effect to it. You can wear that, but I would just kind of stick to your light and airy fabrics if you can, or your silhouettes, I'm sorry. So the next outfit I chose was this white cotton t-shirt and it had this cute eyelet detail on your sleeve and then I paired it with this light blue skirt that also is cotton and has eyelet detail as well and I paired it with some sneakers and it looks so cute super sporty something you can wear you know running errands or date night if it's too dressy for a casual you know errands you could definitely do a date night with this if you are going out you guys or you know what even if you're making dinner at home and you just want to dress up and hang out you know in the backyard with a cute little outfit this would be just the outfit for you guys and just change your sneakers into some sandals but the silhouette's going to be the key. You know, this is light and airy. It's got um, an elastic waistband, which is going to be nice, so it's not super tight on you. It's not like you're being stuck in jeans. I typically stay away from jeans a lot in the summertime. I used to wear shorts, like denim shorts, were, which is okay, but sometimes they're not as, um, they're sort of restricting, you know. You want, you know, things that are going to be, like, less restricting on your body when you are hot, so keep that in mind. But I'm not saying you can't wear denim shorts because they're definitely a great option to wear when you can, but if you're looking for something that's just a little bit more easier, stick to maybe elastic or something that you feel like you can kind of just pull away from your body um, at any time. So keep that in mind, you guys. <laughs> oh, that is it. But I do have a bonus, a bonus outfit. It's very vibrant and it has bodysuit, but it's got the prettiest skirt, which is cotton. So keep that also in mind that you can wear your beautiful cotton maxi dresses or cotton skirts right now because those are also going to just help you keep cool as well, which is kind of on the flip side that you think that wearing longer stuff that may not you know, restrict more air, but it actually is. It'll, you know, air will still get through um, those skirts and it'll help you stay um, cool during um, the hot weather. All right, you guys, that is it. Those are the outfits and my tips. So when it is hot outside, these are the outfits I will tend to gravitate towards because they are light and airy. They're not fussy. They're just super easy, but they still make you feel girly, put together, and just changes your mood, especially when wearing lighter colors in the summertime. It just gives you a nice, refreshed feel and look, in my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed the outfits. Don't forget to watch the lookbook coming up shortly. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Take it, just be Personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be Make a name for
generations please and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away hey, hey. you always posting a pictures trying to look like you winning or look like you always be working soaking the moments you live in yeah you got the nerve to be on me faking your life for the IG if you got my number don't ask me cause baby Check for me